All right, still somewhat quiet here in San Antonio, but we're starting to see a few isolated pop up showers develop west of our area near the hill country near Bandera, even a nice little downpour just west of Concan out there in Uvalde County. And of course, the better activity, more scattered activity is east of Highway 281 south of I 10 just to the east of Floresville near Stockdale near Gonzales and now out of northern Lavaca County where we still have some of that heavy rain in place. 40% chance continues through sunset today. More of the same tomorrow and into Sunday. Then after that, those rain chances are really going to start to come down into early next week. Notice more sunshine returning and as a result, those temperatures will crank back up mid to even some upper 90s possible by this time next week. Thank you, Mia. And don't forget to join Mia. She'll be here tomorrow morning. Yes. All right. SA Live starts right now up there in Austin. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> Looking for a weekend getaway this summer? Today on SA Live, I can relax. Welcome back to SA Live here along the beautiful Colorado River in Austin. And we are now at the Cidercade. It's a hot spot for gamers of all ages. <laughs> play games, have a good time. Uh, we also have cider on tap to drink. If you want to get some alcohol, uh, we also serve pizza, salad, and chicken wings. Nice. Okay, so let's talk about the cider. Sure. We have some samples here. What yeah. kind is this? So here's our crackberry. Uh, it's cranberry and blackberry, semi-sweet tart. It's probably our oldest one we still sell. It's very popular. And the pineapple paradise is another oldie. Uh, mm -hmm. It's along the sweeter side, but also very good. I'm going to try this. Tell me yeah. about the other flavors you have. Sure. We have some drier ones, um, some basic apple mm -hmm. flavors. But we do a lot of different variations with a bunch of different fruits. So we have a little bit of uh, anything for everyone. If you like it sweet, if you like it dry, if you like it tart, we have something for you. For everybody. Yeah. Okay, so how did you get this combination of cider and arcade to come together? Yeah, our co founders were just um, a big fan of arcades growing up playing them. Um, and we had this concept for, you know, we already had the cidery and we just wanted to get more people in the building. Kind of had the idea to combine them and it took off. So now we have five locations in five different cities and yeah. Oh, five locations. Yeah. Okay, what's the feedback you get here? I see all ages out there having yeah. a good time. Well, it's good because it's all ages during the day, and then at nighttime, we go to 18 up at 9 p.m. Uh -huh. So if you want to have an adult date, you can come out later and it's more, more adult friendly. Yeah. What's your favorite game? Do you have a favorite game? Uh, I like, <laughs> yeah, I like a lot. Uh, I like basketball, so I like the, the Papa Shot. Mm -hmm. um, also, Super Mario Brothers is super fun. Uh, ski ball, so it's kind of like if you want to do something more active, we have that. Mm -hmm. We have like a more of old school gaming situation. That's we have something for that too. Again, something for everybody, yeah. and that just takes me back, by the way, yeah. right? The nostalgia of it all. Okay, and what are your hours for those who want to come out? Yeah, we open at 10 a.m. We close at midnight, and okay. like I said, we uh, we go 18 up at night. Yeah. Okay, and they can keep up, keep up with you on social media, I would imagine. Yep. Do you ever have like any themes or fun, different, you um, know, ciders or anything you put on there? We do, we change our ciders uh, every couple of months, but we do a, a New Year's Eve party every year, oh. and a Valentine's Day stoplight party every year, and those are kind of the, the big hits. So. Well, I can't but help but notice this gorgeous view out here, yeah. too. So it's just the beautiful backdrop it's here. Great. It's great. It's fun because, you know, on the weekends we get really busy, but during the week we come in, play games with a cider, and look at the view. So Perfect. Yeah. All right, well, I think we're going to get some pizza, and I'm going to go play some games. Awesome. How does that sound? Sounds fun. All right, thank you so much.
We're making waves at the Capitol. How you can paddle through the heart of Austin on the scenic Lady Bird Lake. Hope you're hungry. We show you a culinary experience that will take you all day to indulge on. We take you inside the Naughty Deck Kitchen and Bar. SA Live. Well, we couldn't leave this beautiful Renaissance Austin Hotel without checking out the delicious menu. And joining me now at the Naughty Deck Kitchen and Bar is Renee Lopez, the Director of Operations and Kent Hartgrove, the Executive Chef here. Thank you for having me. This all looks so delicious. Let's talk food. We're going to start there, Chef. Tell me about what we have here. Sure. What we have is, we'll start with breakfast. We have a churrasco and egg over here. Um, this all local ingredients. We get the eggs from local farmers. We get the meat from local farmers. It's Texas raised beef. We have a uh uh, huevos rancheros, same concept there. We have a uh, chilaquiles is on our brunch menu. Uh, naughty huevos is a chicken fried steak. On Texas toast, hash browns with our house made queso. Lunch, we have a macaroni and cheese. This is our award winning macaroni and cheese uh, with our lardons. We have a house smoked brisket nacho. Uh, we have this is a brunch item, this is a brunch burger. And this is a naughty taco. This is a farm-raised flank steak in a bulgogi marinade that we do in-house. Everything's in-house on that one as well. And let's talk a little bit more about this, because this is award-winning mac and cheese, right? It's award-winning. So this is a house-made queso. Um, we entered that into the Austin Mac and Cheese Festival and won first place. It's a uh, lardon that we, we uh, cure and cook in-house. So basically, I need to try that. Is what you're telling me? Okay. You want you have it on? <laughs> I will. I will get on top of that. So uh, this looks amazing, and there is breakfast, brunch, lunch, and dinner. Right? Something that, for everybody. And there's a little bit of everything. I love it. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's talk about more of what else you have to offer here at the hotel. Today. Yes, absolutely. As uh, Chef mentioned, this is our main restaurant, mm -hmm. uh, Naughty Deck Kitchen and Bar, uh, where we offer, in addition of great food, we have a very extensive beverage program in the hotel mm -hmm. uh, that we focus a lot on the local beer wine and spirit uh, guests love it because we are offering that local option to our guests and our visitors uh, in addition we have chosa that is our coffee shop that for those coffee lovers we have a standard selection of coffees as crafted coffees that they can enjoy throughout the day and we have our bar in the pool area the watering hole where we have frozen margaritas pina coladas uh, the rosé frozen rosés and limited amount of cocktails and they are able to also order food by the pool i may have a already tried a frozen espresso martini just saying that was amazing so so a lot of options here yes a, a lot of options experience and that, for everybody. yes everybody that comes to the hotel is able to enjoy it here in the restaurant and the deck or enjoy a nice coffee or if they want to relax in the pool area with a nice frozen margarita they can they can enjoy there that sounds amazing yeah. all right well uh, would you guys like to join in and try something yeah, with absolutely. me absolutely always for more information you know where to go salive.com click the as seen on sa live tab or scan the qr code on your screen, I'm going for the mac and cheese. Okay? Absolutely, great option. What are you reading this summer? You're likely to find it at Texas's largest independent bookstore. We're shelving the mystery on this special place for book lovers. Your summer adventure awaits just around the river bend. How you can make a splash of fun for your weekend getaway trip to Austin. SA Live for our weekend getaway show on the go in Austin, Texas. We are now at the lifeblood of the capital city, the Colorado River, also known as Lady Bird Lake. And joining me for some summer fun in the sun is Cameron Hendricks, General Manager for the Rowing Dock. And you've been a woman-owned business since 1999. Do you want to tell me about that? Yeah, so from 1999 is when we were founded as a local women-owned and operated business and um, with the dream of trying to get as many people as we can out there on the water to experience Lady Bird Lake. What can people rent here at the Rowing Dock? Yeah, we have plenty of different types of equipment. We have single kayaks, double kayaks, paddle boards, and some fun new pedal kayaks that are super fun if you like to go fishing or just uh, cruise around on the lake with your legs. Um, basically anything, we got beginner style boards as well, so even if you've never done it before, we have something for you. You have dry bags and that kind of thing if people need to make sure their stuff doesn't fall in the water. Yes, so we do um, sell them and also rent them. So any piece of equipment that you want out there, just to make sure that all your goodies are nice and safe, we do have that. And you can, when you 
you hop on the river here, uh, you can get downtown views or you can get kind of a scenic view as well. So whatever you're really hoping for, obviously, if you want to go where a lot more people are, where the party is, where the Austin skyline is, is that way if you're wanting to be a little bit more secluded, a little bit more nature oriented, I um, highly suggest going that way down to Redbud. All right, Stephen and I are going to try a double kayak. our interview. So currently in the summer we open at 8 and close at 9. Plenty of time in the sun. So if there happens to be inclement weather here on the lake, how can folks know if you guys are open or not? Yeah, the absolute easiest way is to uh, look at our website. That's where we have all the most up-to-date information. What's your favorite part of your job? I'm such an outdoor person, so just being able to be out here mm -hmm. and getting people on the water. Obviously so many people have some magical experiences out there, whether if it's uh, going out there just to relax or have some fun. So facilitating that is my absolute favorite part. And I happen to be one of those people I actually proposed to my wife here in front of Redbud Isle, just down the river. So yeah, it's a magical place to be. It really is. You have an upcoming full moon paddle on July 20th. Do you want to tell me about that? So basically, we stay open later, and the moon rises right over the skyline. So we highly encourage you all to come out, experience what it's like to be out on the water during the moonlight. It's really cool. For more information on the rowing dock, head to essaylive.com, where we've provided a link or scan that QR code on your screen. It's a one-stop shop for music lovers. We go inside a Texas staple that's been celebrating music for over 40 years. And we head to Texas's largest independent bookstore where you can find the perfect gift for the reader in your life. book floor manager at Book People. Uh, right now we're in the romance department, but there's a bunch of different genres that people can enjoy here at Book People. Can you tell me about the kids department? Our kids department is also like pretty much half of the second floor is just dedicated to the kids. One of my favorite parts is we have our kids amphitheater where we host story times every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Saturdays at 10.30 a.m. Another cool part about the gifts department is every third Thursday of the month we have Tiny Tales and essentially it's this other um, group in Austin organization where they bring little pets to little tiny animals for the kids Aww, to touch cute. and my favorite one time I got to hold a chinchilla in my hands and you think chinchillas are like prickly but they're not they're actually quite soft and so it's quite fun for the kids and the staff to bring over here it brings all kinds of people it's nice to see the kids get excited about little tiny animals which is really nice we've had whole chickens which is also fun inside, like, inside the store wow. which has okay. been quite fun my favorite is the bilingual part so we not only have like a big like Spanish section whether it's like board books, picture books, but also like bilingual books, not just only in Spanish and English, but also in like different languages and we alphabetize them by language. So it's quite fun over there. And you guys have authors come here and do readings and conversations. Can you tell me a little bit more about that? When I close, sometimes I'll just sneak up there, listen to the talks and it's just really nice to be surrounded by a group of people that they have already read these authors' books or they're just like interested in the author and they come listen to the talk and then it just brings so many more readers to the author and my TBR, my to be read pile just keeps growing and growing and growing. I swear every time I work an event, I end up coming home with the signed book. So I'm like, oh, well, I got to get it personalized. I got to get it signed. How can people know when an author is going to come here? How can they find that out? The best way would be either on our Instagram or through our Eventbrite page. Most of our events are free, which is something that's a big staple at Book People. We love hosting events for free so that anybody can come, even if it's just to listen to the talk. You guys don't just have books here. You also have cards and you have gifts that people yes. can buy. Can you tell me about those? So many fun little knickknacks. We have a huge stationary like card section and we have not your typical cards that you can get just at a grocery store. They're funny, they're silly, sometimes they're very niche specific to certain occasions um, and to also a lot of different like holidays as well. Father's Day, Mother's Day, Christmas, um, all of the main holidays as well as the little holidays that are around. 
our gift section. We have gifts all over. We actually have a gift display right here that's tailored to the romance section. Whatever section you go to here at Book People, you're likely to find a gift to kind of match what you're already interested in. Yes. And where are you all located? So we're located right on North Lamar, right next to REI and Anthropology. Also right across the street from Waterloo Records, which people identify here in Austin really quickly. And right across the street from the Whole Foods that's downtown. And that's usually how people know right away where we are. And we can't forget about one of my favorite parts at Book People, Coffee People. We're going to take you to the cafe next. Joining me now is Lindsay Cook, cafe manager here at Coffee People. Everyone at this cafe seems to be super happy. Can you tell me why that is? I think it has a lot to do with the vibe, the ambiance, and the fact that people who come and sit in the cafe and read our books have been coming here for 30 years. And you guys have two different kinds of coffee that you guys serve here. Can you tell me about those? Yes. Our decaf espresso and our drip coffee, those are from Trinon. Our cold brew beans and espresso beans are from Texas Coffee Traders. And you also have pastries here. Where are those from? Most of them are from Quacks, but we did just bring in Mr. Natural, another local aimed at vegan gluten-free items. So you guys are all about local here at Coffee People? Yes, if we can find them, we will get them in. We're going to show off some drinks here. Can you tell me a few of your favorites that you have here? The special off-menu spicy mocha. We call it the Frida Kahlo. Also, our cold brew is phenomenal. We make something called an Emily Palmer, which is half hibiscus tea and then half lemonade. And you guys have a new thing that you're starting here. It's a community table of some kind? We have a new community table that we're peddling. Um, we rent it out in two hour blocks. You just have to open a $25 tab with the cafe and then you can use it for um, whatever your group is about. Writers groups, art clubs, book clubs. And you guys have art that you guys feature here from local artists as well? Once a month we have a artist of the month and they can come in and sell their art at their price. We don't charge anything for them to come in and it's really nice to be able to provide the artist the space. For more information on Book People, head to salive.com and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab where we have provided a link. Or scan that QR code on your screen. It's a one-stop shop for music lovers in Texas and has been voted the best record shop in the capital city for over 40 years. Joining me now is John Coons, owner of Waterloo Records. Now you provide music for the music consumer and the music lover. Can you talk to me about that? Right. I mean, it's, it's a yeah. subtle distinction, but the music consumers are generally kind of more mainstream, uh, the most popular music of the day. And the music lovers are someone like myself that need music in their life every day, like, you know, food, water, and oxygen. And uh, they're kind of generally looking not only for those most popular artists, but the cutting edge that's going to become what probably will be the, the most popular artist down the road, looking towards the future rather than the present, if you will. And you've been around since, what, 1982? Store opened in April Fool's Day of 82. Right. You're such a staple here in Austin, Texas mm -hmm. now. Did you expect it to become what it has today when it started? Well, we were looking to create the, the music clubhouse for those music lovers, that town square gathering place. And, uh, you know, having a really broad, varied, uh, all genre inventory across as many formats as are possible uh, with, uh, you know, great pricing, great consumer policies and most important to have the friendly and knowledgeable staff to back all that up. Come here and meet people that are like-minded, that love the things that you exactly. love. Exactly. And then you have a featured Texas artist okay, section, yeah. so if you love Texas right. music, you've got it here. Where is it at in the store? As you walk in the front door, it's on the wall right to your left. And a new yes. artist and section? Then, and the new artist section is right next to that. Yep. Okay. As I always like to say, we have the best music and video from around the corner and around the world. So. Uh, we're, we're big proponents.
components of the local scene, both um, musically and uh, film-wise. Huh? You all do live uh, music events here, and you've had certain special music artists come. Yeah, we average, we average about two live performances uh, in the store a week. Can you tell me some of the big names that you've had here multiple times? Well, big names that we've had here multiple times include Willie Nelson and Nora Jones, uh, Gary Clark Jr. That's awesome. And would you say there's been a resurgence in vinyl? In oh, yeah, just? without a doubt, yeah. I mean, um, 15 years ago, our sales were probably 90% CD to 10% vinyl, and now it's completely flipped the other way around. 90% vinyl to 10% CDs. And can you talk to me about World Record Store Day? Well, R Record Store Day was something that uh, myself and a bunch of other indie record store owners got together and created as a way to celebrate the culture and community of independent record stores. That first year, we had stores in England pick up on it and say, hey, how can we participate? And we didn't really have a good answer for them. But a year later, uh, uh, they had talked to some of the, the same record labels in their country and uh, did a, kind of a mirror image of it on the same time frame. And from there, it spread to Europe. And from there, to Asia, Africa, Australia. So World and Record Day started here with the people that you know and spread out from there. Right. Uh, can you tell me about your store hours? How long are you guys open? We're op we open at 10, close at 9, seven days a week. Seven days a week. And can people order if they can't make it in store? Can they order online? Yep. WaterlooRecords.com. You've been in the record industry for 51 years, right? Right. Mm -hmm. Do you think this Waterloo Records is going to be around for another 51 more? I certainly hope so and think so, but that's going to be up to the next generation. I'm not going to be you around. Be here? I won't be here 51 years from now. For more information on Waterloo Records, head to SALive.com, where we have provided a link or scan that QR code on your screen. Thank you, Sam. Certainly, John. Appreciate Thank it. you. Many places to get a great cup of joe in Austin, Texas, but none with such a noble goal as this one. And joining me now is Dane Kinney, founder of Noble Joe Coffee Co. Why did you start this business, Dane? So it's something I've wanted to do for a long time. Uh, I was lucky enough to get a job in college part-time for a large coffee company. And I had not i didn't even drink coffee before, which is kind of funny. And so, yeah, so um, realizing how beautiful coffee is, how it brings people together, it's always a special, fun thing to do with friends. Um, and my goal of wanting to bring people together and be a light in the world it just really seemed to make sense through coffee. And the name and just the idea and the brand I'd, I'd had in, in my mind since about 27 Team. Speaking of, donating to charities is important to you. Yeah, sure. Can you tell me about that? Yeah, so the, really the goal with Noble Joe is that you'd come to us, have a coffee, and without any added expectation from the customer, a portion of that would go to help other people. So just by getting your daily cup of coffee, you know you're making an impact. So pretty much we've started from day one um, donating a significant portion of our revenue directly to nonprofits. Uh, and supporting small businesses is important to you. Can you tell me some of the small businesses that you support with your yeah. coffee truck? Yeah, so we're really open to helping however we can. Since the beginning, we've started really serving only products from different local businesses. So Civil Goat serves our cold brew. Casa Brazil's our roaster in St. Elmo. They're fantastic. The quality of coffee is just unmatched. Are you still wanting to do a drive through eventually? Totally, yeah. I think that that just makes the most sense for uh, for our business. You know, right now it's coming up on 100 degrees today, and that prevents, you know, provides its challenges. And then even in the super, you know, cold months, which are only, you know, few and far between here in Austin, um, even that prevents challenges. And uh, or provides challenges as well as rain, stuff like that. What would you say your most popular drink on the truck is? Uh, the Noble Joe has to be it. It's pretty simple, but you know, it's our high quality Casa Brazil espresso, um, oat milk, and agave. And um, I would say that that's our most popular. But our matcha recently has been taking people uh, by storm, so. Yeah, that and the Noble Matcha, which is uh, oat milk and lavender as well. And tell us a little bit about where you're located, because you're right next to the water, right next to yeah. uh, Ladybird Lake. What is this food truck area? Right, this is the South Shore Eatery, and it's located at the Amley South Shore Apartments. Mm -hmm. What's nice is we're 30 seconds from the lake, um, right off of Riverside and South Lakeshore Boulevard, and we have this wonderful food truck park, plenty of tables, shade, very dog friendly, and um, you'll just see a lot of really cool people, you know, positive environment, lots of dogs, lots of nice people. And 
and you don't just serve people, you serve pups as well. Absolutely. Yep, we have, um, I would say, pup cup addicts around here. Ah. And this is actually our head of marketing. Ah, okay. Who is this? Uh, this is Eleanor Kenny. They call her Ella. And uh, this is not from me, but she was named the most specialist, nicest, friendliest, prettiest girl in the world. Ah. Totally unbiased. Unbiased, yeah. yes. And what are the hours for Noble Job? So we are open every day from uh, 7 until noon, Monday through Thursday, 7 till 1 on Friday, and 8 to 2 on the weekends. And for more information on Noble Joe Coffee Co., head to salive.com and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab where we provided a link or scan the QR code on your screen. Thanks for joining our show on the go in Austin. We hope you have a wonderful weekend getaway ahead of you.